Hi, this is Libby Spradlin with the Office of Planning and Assessment, and the purpose of this video is to discuss the process of writing an operational outcome for administrative and student support service units, collectively called support service levels. Operational outcomes are a core component in assessing institutional effectiveness activity. Operational outcomes are required as part of the SAC COC Principles of Accreditation in two sections. Standard 7.3 states the institution identifies expected outcomes of its administrative support services and demonstrates the extent to which the outcomes are achieved. Standard 8.2.C states the institution identifies expected outcomes, assesses the extent to which it achieves these outcomes, and provides evidence of seeking improvement based on analysis of the results. The section of this standard which concerns operational outcomes is Section C, Academic and Student Services that Support Student Success. The process for writing an operational outcome is fairly straightforward. Each unit should have three to five outcomes, and outcomes should be related to a primary function of the unit. Outcomes should be concise, usually one sentence long, and phrased as a goal statement. Outcomes should also clearly articulate what is trying to be achieved. Finally, outcomes should be clearly defined in measurable terms. Some examples of well-written operational outcomes using these parameters are as follows. Texas Tech University faculty and staff are well prepared to meet OPA's faculty credentialing assessment and strategic plan reporting expectations. Clients will increase their knowledge and or awareness of legal issues and processes. Achieve compliance in all metrics assessed with the TTU HSC School of Medicine annual medical records audit. If you have any questions regarding operational outcomes, please contact the Office of Planning and Assessment at 742-1505 or you can contact me directly at the information provided on the screen.